In this video, I'm going to teach you how to load mods on the Elden Ring using Mod Loader 2 and UXM, respectively. They're two different programs to use. So, uh, before you start, you want to go to where Elden Ring is located. Mine's located on one of my SSDs. And then you want to create a new text document called Steam underscore app ID. And then you want to put 1245620 in it. And then you want to drag it in. I already have it in here. But you want to drag it into your game uh, directory. And then that will allow you to start eldering without the anti-cheat. So anytime you start eldering, um, when you're not using the mod loader, you want to start it from in here. And that will bypass the anti-cheat so you don't get banned for using mods. But you can't play online. So that's the trade-off. After you do that, you're going to want to um, go into Google. Uh, I'll put the link in the description, but look up Mod Engine 2 Elden Ring download. And then it'll bring you to this page, and you click on this. And then you are able to download it from this zip right here. I'm not going to download it, I already have it. But once you download it, you're going to want to bring it onto your desktop and it should look like this um you're gonna come into the mod file there's gonna be nothing in here and this is when you can start to add mods you want to be sure that the mod you're gonna use uses mod loader to load it so i'm just picking this box because it's came out pretty recently it's pretty cool it's the ishin sword saint full moveset mod um but you can scroll down and normally they'll tell you how you're gonna download it, but this one says download Mod Engine 2, so you know this one will work with Mod Engine 2. Uh, come to Files. By the way, I get all these mods on Nexus Mods. That's where pretty much all the mods are gonna be if you want to use them. You have to make an account to download, but you can go to you can go to Files right here. Press Manual Download. It's gonna come over here. You're gonna press Slow Download because you don't wanna have to pay for it, and then it's gonna start downloading the zip, which you can bring it here and then it'll open it should look like this mods are going to have a different amount of files depending on how in-depth they are this one's pretty in-depth so uh you're just going to drag everything into the mod folder some mods are going to come with what the regulation bin uh i'm not exact too sure exactly what that is i'm not a modder like i don't make mods but some will come with it some won't uh, if it comes with it, you want to bring it into the mod folder. If it doesn't, then Elden Ring has its own regulation bin in the Elden Ring directory. I'm pretty sure it should work normally if it doesn't come with one. But um, now that you do that, you can close this and then come to here. And you're going to press launch mod underscore Elden Ring. And it should launch it. And I will see you in the game to show you that the mod worked. So now that you're here, you can just press continue. <coughs> load in the whatever character you want to and then I already have the mod I already have the weapons um, equipped but weapon if you have modified weapons it'll tell you which weapons to equip for this one it's just the Nagakiba and the pike and then you'll see that you have the cool move set if you want to download this mod I'll put this mod specifically in the description so don't worry about that but yeah, now I'm going to show you how to use UXM uh, for other mods that require that specific way so essentially uxm is another way to add mods to elden ring uh it just depends on how the mod works and functions and how like the files are but i'll link this you can get this off nexus mods too it's called uxm selective unpacker so what you want to do is you're going to want to download it from here i already have it downloaded um and then you can extract the file to your desktop and it should look like this inside of it uh, and then you're going to press UXM Selective Unpack, and it'll open, sorry, everything opens on my other monitor. It'll open like this, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press Unpack, and then what it's going to do is it's going to unpack the all of Elden Ring into its own directory, and then you're going to want to press Patch right after. The Unpack might take a second, but the Patch shouldn't take too long. Also, I forgot to mention, you want to set, you want to browse this to where your Elden Ring is located. So uh it might be in a different spot for you but once you unpack it if you take note of what your elden ring looks like before and after your file should be a lot more files in here now 
So if you come across a mod that needs UXM, I have one here. Um, you will. This is a bleach mod. It just essentially just adds Ichigo into the game. Um, it'll say installation, and then it'll say install UXM. Use it to unpack the game. Click patch. Obviously, I told you how to do all this, but most mods will tell you how to install them. So. Um, uh, it'll unzip it in the main folder. So then when you download it, uh, it will give you something along the lines of this, let's say parts. Um, and then it'll have files in it. But what you all you want to do is you want to just take the parts and put them in here. Uh, and you don't have to open the parts folder already in there and do it. It'll, it'll automatically uh, transfer them over. Like it'll swap them out. Or it'll ask you to swap them out. I'll just do it to show you. It'll ask, replace the files, you say yes. And then that's it. You don't really have to do anything else with UXM now that it's all unpacked. Um, so now all you do is you can start Elden Ring. You can also, once you do this, you can start Elden Ring with Mod Engine if you want to combine mods that use UXM and Mod Loader, like this Mod Engine loader right here. Um, so you could start it from here, or just to show you, you can start it from in here. So now we're loading in, and most, I mean, especially like uh, armor set ones, they'll normally just replace armor sets that are already in the game. So this one replaces the blade armor set. It grieves. And now you're Ichigo. So that's how that works. And that's it for this video. I will put all the mods I used and the um, files that you need in the description. And yeah, I appreciate you guys watching.